Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I'm a math expert from St. Petersburg, Florida, and we're here to talk about how to multiply exponents. What you need for this are a pen or pencil, a piece of paper, and a calculator, whichever one you like, whether it be scientific or graphing. And there's a couple of ways that you can multiply exponents, but, and we'll talk about those scenarios right now. One rule that you want to be aware of is this exponent rule here, where you have b to the m times b to the n. Now, you want to ensure that the bases do match. So, because if you can't, you cannot use this rule. But if you have two terms with the same base multiplied with each other, you would add those exponents. So, multiplication of like bases are associated with addition of exponents. So, for example, if you have 8 to the third times 8 to the fourth, for example, making sure the bases match, you take the 3 and you add with the 4, so you have 8 to the seventh power. Now, if you have x to the third times x to the negative four, it's the same kind of idea, even though you have a positive and a negative exponent. As long as the bases match, you can have x to the three plus negative four. As you know, three plus negative four is like subtracting. It'd be x to the negative one. And if you're familiar with the negative exponent rule, you'll know to bring it down to where it becomes one over x to the positive one, or one over x to be short. Now, that's one way where exponents for multiplication can be addressed. The other rule that you want to be aware of would be a true multiplication of exponents. In other words, if you have b to the power m that's raised to another power n, if you have exponents right next to each other, one exponent raised to the other, you would actually multiply those exponents side by side. So for example, if you have 10 to the second raised, let's just say, to the seventh power, what you would do simply is take those two numbers, 10 to the, and then you would take the 2 and the 7 and multiply those together. And as you know, that's 10 to the 14th power. So but these are a couple of properties that will help you multiply exponents. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how you multiply exponents.